A lot of people make a lot of to-do about the free throw line, and these fans will come up with anything. But when you zone in on the front of the rim, that almost gets blocked out. That wasn't the case in 2003 for Jack Emanuel. The Viking guy and I were waiting in line to get into the UNC game, and a guy came up to us, wanted us to get everybody to sit down on the second uh, trip to the line for Carolina, and that he was going to stand up and distract the shooter. Emanuel leads, and that's a blocking foul. So during the game, Jack Emanuel got fouled and went to the line, and Viking guy turns around and gets the grad student section to all sit down. I drop immediately the second that Jack Emanuel was fouled and I'm ripping my clothes off. <laughs> I wanted it to be something like a, 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 just a blooming flower, which doesn't sound intimidating at all. And I rose up and I let Jack Emanuel know that he'd met his match. So I just thought this guy in a Speedo, you know, you know, no shirt, uh, just dancing around, you know. It was kind of hard to focus on my free throws. You see a guy in the speedo moving around. Manuel misses the first. I was like, okay, let me gather myself, you know, refocus. And <laughs> he jumped up again and started doing another dance. And, <laughs> and you know, inside I was laughing, but, you know, trying to stay focused. It kind of threw me off and uh, ended up missing my second free throw as well. The place goes nuts. Um, I dropped down throw my clothes back on really, really quickly, and basically uh, descend again into relative obscurity. The Speedo not only helped us win the game that day, it helped me win the heart of my wife. I was dating Patrick's brother at the time, and once Patrick and I started talking, I just, and I'd seen that Speedo. I had to make the switch with the brother, and I called it off and said, I'm gonna go with the Speedo. I thought anything we can do to help the team win um, was maybe inbound, but Coach K made a specific reference to Speedo Guy and said, no more Speedos. It's inappropriate. I don't think you should be running around your underwear at, at a game. I didn't think that was a good thing. So that's not become uh, uh, a part of uh, you know what Cameron is. Coach K, you'll be happy to know that I've matured since then. For nine years, I served as a pastor at a church in Knoxville, Tennessee. We, the church, are the body of Christ. Hey, man. Now, I work as a community development specialist. That's all right. And Caroline and I have two beautiful children. But I'll always be a Cameron Crazy at heart. Oh!